Now, we going to focus from the East Coast to the Dirty South. <laughs> Here's the beef between, the truth rather, the beef between T.I. and Luda. And that's ludicrous for those who don't know what that is. Now, we're going to go back to the beginning. When nobody had any beef, there was no problems, no nothing. Now, in the video of the I-20s, somebody was getting stomped out. And T.I. thought the guy was wearing, or the guy was wearing a trap music shirt. And they were trying to say, oh, that was T.I. getting stomped out by disturbing the peace. Now, here's the problem. At this time, T.I., I mean, Ludacris is like the king of the South. Without even claiming it. He ain't going around screaming, I'm the king of the South. T.I. is coming out making noise because he's about publicity stunting and marketing. He knows how to market himself. And he thought, well, Luda got no street cred. He ain't no gangster. He ain't been flipping no bricks. And he running things right now. Now, if I start a beef with them when my trap music album come out, here we go. This will be the perfect thing I need to get in my zone. Well, I'm going to get all this coverage, interviews, and we can keep this going. So, at a, uh, what really escalated the problem was the fact that T.I. had his little freestyle diss against uh, um, Ludacris on Young Buck's album, Stomp. Now, the problem was Buck went and took the song to to Luda because he was going to have T.I. and Luda in there. He was cool with both of them. So he took it over to Luda so they could hear it, the verse, before he got on there. So he let him know in advance, like, like, look, dude, you know, you can get on the song, but this is what the verse sound like. Now, Buck is more cool with, with Luda than he is T.I., you know, he would if it was a, a toss up at that time, who you want on the track, Luda or TI, you gonna take Luda. Who gonna help you sell more records? <laughs> at the time. TI being on the track or Luda. So it was common sense to have Luda on the song, no matter what. So what happened was they was going to keep T.I.'s verse on there. And they was going to put Luda's verse on it. But when they heard Luda's voice, verse, they were like, whoa, T.I.'s managing them. When they heard the final song with T.I. and Ludacris on it, they said, whoa, 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 we ain't going to allow that. <laughs> We're not going to allow him to come out and slander our artists. Tell Luda. We don't mind being on the track with Luda. If Luda change his verse, we we would have, you know, send the approval to let T.I.'s verse be on the record. But T.I. wasn't going to record another verse. And they said, well, here's the deal. We'll take that part off with about Ludacris. We'll just cut that part out. And then, um, Luda could write a whole nother verse and that'll be it. Luda didn't write another verse. So they didn't give the permission for T.I. verse to be on the album. So needless to say, they replaced him with the game. And the song come out. But at this time, due to the internet starting to grow, people heard the T.I. verse. People had mixtapes and had an early version of it. It was leaked out to the public. Then you heard Luda's version. And it was done on purpose just so people was going to hear what T.I. said. 
And then you heard Luda's version on the record. So this was like big power versus little power. So when they, uh, it was a charity event in L.A. And this is some, uh, you know, Quincy Jones type uh, event in L.A. You know, for charity. Ludacris manages there, Shaka Zulu and, uh, and his brother, you know. And look, I'm gonna tell you right now, loot of them ain't gangster, but there's somebody you don't put your hands on. Certain people you don't, and that's Shaka Zulu, and him. You don't mess with them, Dixon boy. Trust me, you don't want to mess with them. Shaka may look like a square and do everything, and you don't mess with them, Dixon boys, because it's the people you don't see that you need to be worried about. When dealing with them, I'm gonna tell you that right now. It's the people that ain't on the TV screens, who name ain't on the credits, that will feel a certain way if you put your hands on one of them. And T.I. found that out very swiftly when he came up and tried to take a swing and shove Shaka at the charity event. First off, you didn't just ticked off a lot of celebrities like Quincy Jones and them. They couldn't believe it. So he was resorted to going back to his hotel room. Now he had a, a new problem. Shaka was there deep. He was there with like two, three people at the max. And didn't think L.A. was going to turn into a place he couldn't get out of. He was stuck in his hotel because it wasn't safe. He got phone calls and he knew that you going to end up shot before this weekend is out <laughs> for, for touching the streets. It was really, really a problem. Y'all didn't know that, but it was really a problem. T.I. got on his phone and called up Alpha Mega. He called up Maine. He called up every relative he knew. To get down to L.A. And he wasn't leaving his room. Until they came down there. Because he didn't feel safe. Alpha Mega got Shaka all them together. And said man we're going to talk this thing out. And whatever the problem is. We're going to get it fixed in here. And when they did that. You know Tip. Go back home. And still slight running off at the mouth. So Luda blazed him on the little tracks. You know, because he's still throwing little shots in his rhymes. So Luda was just giving it to him. Just to let him know, like, on the make it rain. That was just, that was just really just salt in the wound. <laughs> the make it rain remix with, with Luda just dropping three verses just to let him know, like, you are not on my level. So not on my level. Like this, it was just sunning him at a at a high all time high. But the beef was really just a publicity stunt, and he keep trying to talk about how people consider themselves the king. But you know, Ti like they ain't flip no bricks, they ain't busting no guns, <laughs> and Luda basically telling dude. What guns are you busting? Do what you saying you do on your song or shut the F up. <laughs> I mean, really, it was it was at that point where Luda just took everything away from him. Like, dude, you're right. I don't flip bricks. I make hit records. <laughs> I'm a multi-millionaire. <laughs> Even not in my tax bracket. You know, it was basically the truth. So... I would say, to be in all honesty, I would just completely say that T.I. got knocked out. That was a complete loss in the battle. But it, what happened was Luda got to the point where he was so popular for so long, seven some hours or whatever, 
after that beef cooled off, it gave T.I. a little bit of what he needed. So, gave him the spotlight for him to go into other records and other situations. But have you noticed, if you go back to T.I.'s career, there's always a beef around his records. You see that pattern? Where did he get that? Can somebody say, this is 50. <laughs>